Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about Newton's divided difference formula. Okay, fine. So basically this formula is used when the intervals are unequal. Okay, even the Lagrange's interpolation formula is used for that. So basically this formula is y is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught into delta y naught plus x minus x naught into x minus x one into delta square y naught plus x minus x naught into x minus x one into x minus x two into delta cube y naught plus so on. So basically, to remember this formula, this basically it starts from y naught. And delta y naught. This you have to consider one term that is x minus x naught. Then delta square y naught that is two terms are there. Square two terms. X minus x naught, this term into x minus. You have to remember that it is subtracted from x only. X minus x naught. First term, then second term. Then x minus x naught, x minus x one, x minus x two. Three terms are there. Cube is there, so three terms. Okay. So like that also you have to remember. In some textbooks it is given. This is nothing but a y naught. We can write it as f of x naught function of x naught. Okay. Then delta y naught we can write it as what? This this is as it is x minus x naught into delta y naught we can write it as f of x naught x one. Okay. Function of this thing. So it basically means this thing. Okay, delta square y naught we can write it as what delta square y naught. Nothing but f for function of x naught, x1, x2. Right? So like that also we can write. So basically this is a formula. So this formula is used well. It is used when the intervals are not equal. For the unequal intervals, it is used. Right? Delta cube y naught also we can write delta cube y naught is equal to function of x naught x one x two x three. Right. So this this is the basic formula. So you can remember this formula. In place of this thing also we can write function of this thing. This means like this. Okay. Solve some problem based on Newton's divided difference formula. Okay. So the first question is. Using Newton's divided difference formula, find u3. Okay, given u1 is given, u2, u4, u6, and all is given. So basically, you have to remember in this is that y is the function of what? Y is equal to u is the function of x. So basically, it means that u is a function of x. That means you have to find x equal to at x equal to 3, you have to find the value of that okay here also the one means x x values this this value means so that is y values okay so we will form the table right so first x values then y values so x values it is given that is one two four six okay y values is also given minus 26 12 2 56 and 844 right so basically in this you can observe here that the x values the interval is different that means unequal intervals okay you can see here what's the width of this for these two terms the width is one for these two terms the width is two fine so this unequal intervals so for this case, we will apply Newton's divided difference formula. And one more formula you can apply that is Lagrange's interpolation formula. In this question, we are using Newton's divided difference formula. So now we need to find delta y. Okay. Delta y now, delta y1 and all. So delta y table. Now for this formula, to form this column, what you have to do? See this. In any case, Newton's interpolation formula, we used to 
subtract these two terms and write the value of delta y naught. In this case, you have to divide. That means do Newton's divided difference formula. That means first find the difference between these two terms and divide it by the corresponding difference between these two terms. I'll show you how. So basically, you have to remember is that see. You have to first subtract what? 12 lower minus upper. So 12 minus of minus 26. Fine. In the interpolate Newton's interpolation formula, we used to you find y naught by this thing, delta y naught by this, just to find the difference. In this case, you have to divide it by the corresponding this values, x values. That means corresponding difference of the x values. That means 2 minus 1. Here also upper minus lower. Here also upper minus lower divided by this lower minus. This one, sorry. This one is up, lower minus upper divided by lower minus upper one. Fine. You will get to what? Delta y naught. So basically, uh, you have to calculate. So you will get 38 delta y naught. Okay. Now, the second case to find delta y1, what you have to do? You have to, in this case, you have to see. That means this. Okay. Now, to find this, we know this is delta y naught. So, is it? Okay. Now, this is 38. Moving on to the delta y1. Okay. Now, lower minus upper. So, 256 minus 12 divided by corresponding x difference difference between the corresponding x sums that is this two here also same thing lower minus upper that is 4 minus 2 okay so you will get it this is nothing but delta y1 you will get it as 122 right you can calculate it will get it as 122 now so this also we got that is 122 now moving on to the next thing that is the last term. So here basically you have to remove the exam. See this all the same thing. Lower minus upper divided by corresponding x terms difference between the corresponding x terms. That is here also the same thing lower minus upper 6 minus 4. Okay. You will get it as what subtract and divided by this thing. You will get it as 294. Fine. So we got the, all the values. So this will be 290. So we got this values. Now moving on to the next table that is delta square y table. Column. Finding that same procedure you have to apply here. That means you have to find the difference of these two. Then corresponding that thing you have to find. That means what you have to do. So basically lower minus upper divided by corresponding what is this corresponding x values that you have to see so one thing you can do you can remember in this way also for the delta square y 1 3 if the four terms are given this i am considering as first term second term third fourth four terms of x are given 1 3 for the next one that is 2 4 for the last one it is 1 4 okay this will be a little bit confused so i will show you how to do that so basically 121 or 122 minus 38 after that this is the first term this is second third fourth terms so basically this is the first term i said first and third so you have to see this two first and third we got two terms then subtract the lower one minus the upper one that means third term minus the first term okay that will be four minus one okay in this way also you can remember or the another way to remember is that you can see in these two terms okay the middle term that is the gap is the middle term that term you have to leave one one term you have to leave in between and take these two terms otherwise you can remember in this way also that is one three this is for the denominator okay one three first to divide uh, separate this two then first and second term the third term you take and subtract lower minus upper that means third term minus first term okay 
after that you will get it as how much you will get it as 28 okay moving on to the next one so basically in this also 28 we got the answer now see now this two 294 minus 122 lower minus upper 22 divided by now here what you have is you have to take the even terms first we took the odd terms then even terms that is second and fourth term first we took first and third term here you have to take second and fourth term that is fourth term minus second term lower minus upper six minus two okay now one four where we have to use that thing that we'll discuss now we got this thing now what is the answer of this so it is basically 43 okay so we got 28 and 43 as the answer okay so we'll write it in the table 28 and 43 now, again you have to do subtract and form the delta cube y table lower minus upper 43 minus 28 divided by what see here i said first first and third you have to take then second and fourth all terms even terms then you have to take one four one four that means first and the last term okay first and the last term you have to take so six minus one Six minus one so we'll get it as what three so delta cube y also we got it is basically what three so we got the values all the values so in this case you have to remember one thing that newton's divided difference formula you need to divide the terms also rather by the corresponding x terms in the delta y lower minus upper corresponding lower minus upper for the delta square by this lower minus this thing for the delta square by what do you have to do this lower minus upper that is 122 minus 38 divided by what is the corresponding not 1 and 4 you have to choose 1 and third odd terms 1 and third term then second and fourth term for the next term. The last term will be one and fourth. That is first and the last term. In this way also you can remember or you can choose any way to remember it. Fine. Now you have to just substitute in the Newton's you have a difference formula. The difference formula is y is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught into delta y naught plus x minus x naught into x minus x1 into delta square y naught plus x minus x naught into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into delta cube y naught it stops here since the delta cube y naught we know after that delta to the power 4 y naught we don't know the value so it's basically zero okay so here we stop the formula now proceeding with the substitution now you have to substitute here so basically we know y naught what is the value of y naught that is basically minus 26 okay minus 26 what about the x x is nothing but what in the question it is asked find the value of u is a function of x so basically x equal to what 3 so just see how to substitute so y is equal to y naught we know that is minus 26 plus x is 3 minus x naught the first value of x that is 1 into the delta y naught delta y naught that is nothing but 38 plus again 3 minus 1 into 3 minus second value of x1 x1 is nothing but 2 into delta square y naught that is 28 okay plus x minus x naught 3 minus 1 into x minus x1 3 minus 2 
into x minus x2 that is basically 3 minus 4 into delta q find out that is into 3 okay we got the values now how to just add subtract whatever you have to just simplify this the terms only numbers are there just to simplify and you will get it as 132 minus 32 you will get it as answer as well okay so we know that uh, u 3 will be red okay here just we are substituting in the values and just finding out 